Hello everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a while since we have done a video about the sun, but I've had a lot of people ask me one question in particular, and that is, why doesn't the sun appear to get smaller as it circles above the earth and moves away from us like it should? It should change size dramatically, and that is not a false assumption. If there were no atmosphere plane or atmosphere, the sun would definitely change sizes to a degree that's observable and noticeable and we could just repeat that observation and destroy the heliocentric model altogether. So I want to look at the proof we have that the sun is moving away from us and circling above and we're going to look at those from a few different perspectives. I'm not going to just look at one thing that supports what I believe. I'm going to look at a lot of things and leave them linked for you guys to explore yourself. Try to keep this as uh, short and to the point as possible. And one thing that a lot of people point out is that when you use a solar filter, that the sun doesn't change size. You can watch a time lapse and the sun will remain the same size. So you go on Google or DuckDuckGo or wherever and you hunt down this footage. There's a few of them you find, and one of them is from a channel that's actually trying to prove that the sun doesn't change sizes. And they share their footage. They don't do any comparison of the before and the after. They just share the footage, and when you watch it, it looks like there isn't a very big size change. But if you take screenshots and zoom way in and compare these, you can tell pretty instantly that there's a significant change in size so you can do that yourself I, i've got again i'm going to leave the link in the description i'm not wanting you guys to go back to that particular video and be like oh you were debunked or anything but use this to help further your research and proving all things and that we've been lied to about what the stars are the sun is what we live on seems like the whole world couldn't be in on a lie but as you can see the whole world <laughs> being controlled and locked down, shut down, whatever you call it, by the powers that shouldn't be and will not be for much longer. And they are working together very well. You can see that. It's, it's very obvious to those who have eyes. Now, here are a few things that I've shared in, a, in our past video with the sun, but it was a long video. This is specifically on the change in size. Now, when you look, you'll see I have one, two, three different shots here. The first two are with solar filters, okay? Very significant changes, even when using the solar filters, as you can see. And this picture here is another one from the same channel trying to prove that it doesn't change sizes, and it doesn't appear to unless you zoom in. And of course, it does change at a greater degree than it should. It would be 0. .000 something of a change on the globe. I, I don't know the exact decimal. Somebody shared that in a comment when they were debating this a long time ago, and I talked about it in my last video, but I believe here's here's what the numbers they gave me. I'll have to fact check that and see if that's real, but that's the amount of change we would be able to observe on the globe earth model, and they were saying that that's the amount of change we do see, but in reality, this is what we are seeing. I don't know why this isn't just like public knowledge where people can just look this up and go, oh, okay, that's how much it changes. And they just change their globe model altogether and say, oh, okay, well, maybe it's a little closer. I don't know why they're not doing that because we all have access to these tools. I have some solar filters I'm about to purchase and do this myself. If I find different results, I will share them. If it matches the globe, I will even come back and say, look, I did this myself and these people who were trying to prove the globe messed up, I got it right, you know, I will come back and do that. So I'm not going to hide that work once it's available. Oh, and the, the last thing I want to show you before I go is some really cool footage. I was sent a video link by someone trying to say, look, here's the curve, just look at it. And it was a compilation of the top five amateur space launches that actually worked. One of those was the Go Fast Rocket, and I, I treasure this footage because it's hard for people to send stuff up this high that don't have the funding that certain agencies have. And so I was watching it. I was actually going through and watching the footage, 
and saw a part of it that I hadn't seen before, where the rocket is coming back down. And as it's falling, I noticed that the sun, with the same camera, with the same zoom, this camera's not changing its zoom, looked at the sun when it was near its highest point, and it moved by the sun, the sun filled up the entire lens. Well, 15 seconds later, after it falling downward for 15 seconds, the same sun with the same camera looked like this. So very high altitudes. I believe it was like 73 miles up. They were apparently right next to it. And I'll let you watch this here. I've got it, I've got it pulled up so you can see what I'm talking about. I've got the speed slowed down, way down. All right, so here comes this sun. Boom, <laughs> there it goes. Moving by the camera, that's kind of cool to really see something that magnificent part of creation move by the camera. And then you flash forward 15 seconds. I'm gonna skip forward, I have it slowed down. All right, so here it comes at 529. Same sun, same camera, only this time, doesn't look so close. That's footage you can view for yourself. I'll show it one last time here. About 515 or 514. There goes that sun. Again, I have it slowed down. Let's go forward to 529. Here it goes. Same sun, same camera. Truth revealed in plain sight. And I know a lot of you will refer to the curve you see of the earth in this video that comes and goes. Some people just seem to see the one that is convex, even though we obviously see it go from convex to concave. Can't ignore that it does both. So that distortion doesn't disprove the globe or the flat earth. It's just the fact that they are using a wide angle lens. But the sun footage is what we are interested in. And you can see an obvious change in size after only 15 seconds of elevation change as this thing's falling back to the ground. Now there are some other observations I've made that are weird, <laughs> but I, I can equate them to the atmospheric magnification or distortions of light is when you launch a balloon, and this would be weird on a globe as well, there was a balloon launch where the camera was pointed straight up and filmed the sun at about 48 seconds after the launch. So it wasn't very high, it was just a little bit off the ground, and the sun looked quite large, but at 114,000 feet, it looked a lot smaller. You didn't have the magnification from the atmosphere, and that distortion of light as it's hitting that medium there. So shrinking as you get closer to it, that's really weird. But I am pretty sure if it were to go way further, like as high as that rocket, you would be able to have a more noticeable difference in the increase in size as it goes closer to the sun that is more local and smaller than we are told. But it is still the most impressive light in existence outside of our father's light that just supersedes our understanding but um i will leave you now with the footage that i was speaking of of the sun shrinking and moving overhead so you can see that for yourself i will link this presentation down in the description so you'll have it too you can compare it and see if i've messed up i was as unbiased as i could be looking at this stuff if it were to match the globe i would admit it i have no reason to not prove the globe. If that's reality, it'll prove itself. So far over the last few years, I am finding that the reality that I believed in 100% was a lie. And there's a reason behind that lie. And I have found that those who are helping to keep it hidden, <laughs> the debunkers or whatever you want to call them, they're very angry at a lot of the work we're doing, especially when we did a couple videos about the sun gods that they worship and made fun of the sun gods a little bit it really really ticked them off and i don't apologize you can you can see that that makes them very angry kind of struck a nerve wasn't trying to but uh made them very angry because they are very devout to these sun gods 
that they serve. Helios, Tammuz, <laughs> the Horus, all of the the origins that go back, the new Colossus, Statue of Liberty, all the things that are kind of well known to them. It makes them angry when you expose that. So uh means you're doing a good job. If you have the trolls coming after you, you're doing a really good job exposing the things that they have tried to keep hidden for centuries. And the truth is coming out with this great awakening. Time is running out. The great and terrible day is very soon. And a lot of you wonder, why is it called great and terrible? Well, it's going to be great for some of us. Terrible for those who perish and for the ones, the powers of darkness that have operated to really give the wisdom of this world to the world and are hiding the Father's truth. Things that have been altered and changed to corrupt the truth about creation. So be thankful to be a part of this great awakening. It really is a huge blessing to find truth when there is so much work going against it and so much persecution and censorship. So um, thank you guys for being soldiers and pushing through and coming back. A lot of you are telling me you're unsubscribed or you're no longer notified and you're you know, coming here and doing the work yourself to come here and find out that we do still exist and are putting out videos just that they aren't being shown to you. I am finding that with other channels that I love. If they aren't deleted, they just aren't recommended and I don't see them anymore unless I go to my subscriptions and search for them. So I appreciate you guys doing that work and helping us share the truth about creation with the world. It's not in vain, even if it's just one person that you help wake up uh, it's very important that you persist and do that. The people that are asleep, be kind to them. I'm going to share a little bit in, a, in another video about how to treat those that are asleep. There are specific instructions in the Bible about how to treat them, and it does talk about them being asleep and you guys being awake. <laughs> they were experiencing that back then. It wasn't easy, but there are there are guidelines set in place. I'll go over that here shortly. But I wanted to share this real quick and make it as fast as possible. We'll be back soon. We love you. The Father loves you. You're beloved creations of Him. See you soon.